here we are back at another cube hunt at a flea market these are always super fun to play around with at flea markets they make a lot of noise when like these are the like, ones you throw them at the ground and then they like, pop and then there's just like this stuff here but no cubes okay so we can see here they have more stuff more puppets and all these typical toys then over there you can see that there's a cube Bean card comes wisdom. Brains wisdom. I didn't want to say this at that stand, but that cube was fake. There's nothing really Rubik y here. Then we have more planty stuff here. Over on this stand, there's nothing cubing related, but there are some zebras here. And here I managed to find some MoU 3x3s. This is outdated from the previous cube hunt. From the looks of things, someone attacked the box. Here we have the more animal side of things. Here are some chickens. There are some more cubes, and this one we have scrap. Big MoU cube and those food life cubes. And this other cube. Okay, there's more cubes here. And what is this? I've never heard of this cube brand. It's right next to some of the Moyu cubes, and it looks identical to it. But I'm not sure if it's just the same cube in a different packaging or just the. Um, a different cube but fine turning spring 3x3 latest generation i'm not sure if that's entirely true despite the fact that this cube isn't from this generation i still went out and bought it okay so here i am back home with the magic cube that is the latest generation Looking at it compared to the Moyu cube from last time, the Moyu cube is a bit darker and I'm gonna assume that the cube, this cube is like this or because it's been sitting in the sun. First turns. Whoa, this cube feels so sandy. There is no lube in this thing. I'm struggling to do some of my algorithms, but I got some Gans magic lube. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, now this cube is starting to speed up a bit, but it still has that sandy feeling. Has the lube improved its corner cutting? No, not really. I haven't tensioned this, but it has increased its speed, but it definitely hasn't increased its stability. This cube is super clunky. The centerpiece says Importer ABC Trading Inc. 030123 slash 172. What the heck? Come on, like getting a center logo isn't that hard. Like look at Gan. Gan screams out premiumness. While this, this is a little shady. Okay, this cube is kind of trailing a bit in speed because of the sandiness. So I'm gonna give it some stardust to see what happens. Yeah, I'm gonna just give it some three drops and let's just break it in. All right, now this cube is gaining lots of more speed. It's now gotten a bit easier to do a corner cut because of the lubes that I added in, but it still hasn't improved. I'm gonna have to tension it. Let's do a solve. Hmm, okay. Good cross that I gave myself. Ooh. Wow, this cube feels like I'm just sliding all over the place. 
Come on, Les Lair, go. Nope. Now for this bootleg cube, uh, yeah, it could definitely use more work since they're trying to copy Moyu's like design and all that stuff. So I'm not really gonna give it praise because it's bad and because it's copying another brand. So yes. But that was it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.